friends, Heidi here from Rain Country Homestead. God is good all the time. And today I want to show you how you can make your own all natural face makeup powder. Now, honestly, I very rarely ever use it. And that's only if I get a blemish. And even then, sometimes I don't bother with it. Um, but this is excellent for your skin. And if you're one that likes to, to wear like a foundation or a powder foundation, um, I recommend giving it a try. Uh, what I have found is when I use this and I, you know, like say, like I say, I do get a blemish or even I get a little sunburn on my nose and I'm going somewhere and I just kind of want to even out my skin tone, which again is very rare. I, I use this for that. And I have found that, especially with the blemish, it actually helps clear it up like right away. So even if you're not going anywhere and you get a blemish, you want to get rid of it, brush a little bit of this on there. So all you need is three ingredients. It's super easy. And that is what I have here is a tapioca starch or arrowroot powder. Either one is great. Now you might want to look into it. I didn't do this, but it could be that one is even better for the skin than the other. So, um, I personally, like I said, I personally haven't looked into it, but the consistency of them is the same and that's what you need, um, for this particular thing that we're going to make here. Now I'll show you the one that I made for myself. And what I did was I used a recycled, uh, mineral makeup that I used to buy back in the day before I got rid of all the chemical stuff and it works really good. And then you've got your little makeup brush and so you can see what that looks like. Okay, and so and then you just you just brush it on. Now, um, if you haven't seen uh, my video on how to make your own homemade mascara, I'm gonna put that right up here. And one of the things I forgot to say in that video is that you can use that same recipe to make your own eyeliner. You just may need to thin it out a little bit more with some colloidal silver or colloidal copper, or even maybe some of the um, the glycerin. And then just get a good, uh, either a, a, an eye, a specifically an eyeliner brush or even a, an art brush works really good. And then you just apply it like that. So it, it works great. And I wanted to say that. So I'm going to move the camera in closer, which is something I tend to fail to do a lot. Okay. So I mentioned the, the arrowroot powder I, or the tapioca starch. I forgot the other two. I forgot to say what the other two were cacao powder or cocoa powder. This is raw. This is cacao. It's raw cocoa. So it's, in other words, it's called cacao and this is organic. I'll post to the kind that I get below, just like I will also give you a link to the, um, tapioca starch that I use and French green clay. And I also have a link to this below this, believe it or not is important. And it is the French green clay. I believe that helps not only cover up the blemishes, but to cure, to dry them up and get rid of them, make them go away. You're going to want to tailor this to your skin tone. So you're going to start with a little bit of your arrowroot powder or tapioca starch, whichever you use. And then depending on the redness of your skin is going to be how, you know, that's going to determine how much of the green clay you want. The color in this is what's going to help um, balance out red tones. So for me, I don't typically get a lot of red, but since I use this for mostly for co covering up blemishes, um, I probably use a little bit more. So I'm going to use, let me get something better to keep that up. Okay, a spoon works better. The fork is for stirring. I like to use a salad fork and stuff like this. Sometimes a dessert fork is really nice too. So I'm just going to use a little bit. That's probably about a quarter of a teaspoon maybe. We'll start with that. You're going to blend that in. Okay, and then you're going to take your cocoa powder or cacao like I'm using and again you're going to start with just a little bit the same amount roughly so this is going to take a little trial and error so what you're going to want to do if this is something you're going to use a lot is once you get it figured out write down 
how much you ended up putting. It's like, it's like as you're adding your little amounts to this, um, write it down. Okay, I just add this much. Obviously, for my skin tone, that's going to be way too light, too pale. <clears throat> and so I'm going to put in a little bit more. And you're just going to keep doing that with both the French green clay and your cocoa powder until the color comes out right. You can just keep tailoring it. Now, it might take a while for you to get the color just right. And what I did was, I mean, I could match it to this because this is the color here that I use, and I've already got it pretty close to that. And I start by applying it to my hand first. And when I feel that it's pretty close, then I start playing around with it and add it, you know, try it on spots on my face. And um, anyway, it's that easy. It, it's very, very simple. Uh, very, and it's actually good for your skin. This is entirely edible, so it's not going to hurt you. You know, you can put it on your skin, it's not going to hurt you. There's no artificial ingredients, parabens, or any of that na nasty stuff they tend to put in makeup. So, super super easy to do so um you can if you don't have a recycled container like this to use let me show you what else you can use to store your powder all in. right so all you need to do these these are the ball brand little canning jars these are quarter pint jars i use these for a lot of things i store the our homemade deodorant in these our homemade tooth powders or toothpastes um my skin cream, everything, I, any kind of stuff like that, I store in these. And then I like to get these lids. I get these from Amazon, so I'll link to these below. And uh, it's a little bulky maybe for carrying. Um, if you want to take it somewhere, so you may want to find something even smaller. But if it's just for keeping in your cupboard, you know, or drawer, or wherever you keep your makeup when you're getting ready at home, this is ideal. Okay, one more thing I wanted to say about the makeup powder that you're going to want to know, and if you haven't figured out already, is that, as we know, during the year, our skin color changes because in the spring and summer, we're out in the sun more, we're out gardening, and we get a lot of sun on our face. Like right now, I'm real, really pale because I haven't been out in the sun that much. We've only had a couple of days of sun so far. I have been out there. I started to get a little bit of color, but... Let's say you make that that face powder to match your skin tone as it is currently. Maybe you're really tan right now because you've been out in the sun. But then your skin gets lighter because now here comes winter or whenever. All you have to do if you need to darken it up to match your skin tone, just add a little more cocoa powder. You don't have to go make a whole new batch or buy a whole new thing of makeup. You just... You just add a little cocoa powder until it matches your skin tone. And then, on the other hand, if you need it to be lighter because you're starting to lose your tan, just add a little bit more of your arrowroot starch or your tapioca starch. It's that simple. And again, just keep playing with that green clay because that's going to balance out the color to suit the, the tone of your skin, whether it be reddish or yellowish or whatever. So um, just keep playing with it. You'll get it. It's really not that hard. You just kind of keep adding, look at it, and you'll know. You know, look at it in comparison to your skin and try it on your face. If, if it looks too green, you've got too much green powder in there. Add a little bit more cocoa powder. If it's too dark, etc., etc. Just keep playing with it. All right. And that's kind of the fun of it, too. You get to mix, mix it up and do it your own way. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. Skin care, beauty care does not have to be expensive. It can be just pennies. So throw away all that party stuff. You know what I'm talking about. I threw out mine years ago. And start using something that's far more healthy, more natural, and definitely more frugal. And you can very likely make it out of stuff you have right there in your cupboards. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. And God bless.